These are the top five technologies I want in a car. This is gonna be a weird episode, so buckle up. Yeah, I said it. Years ago, I loved cars, especially fast ones. I used to even repair cars in automotive school. When I moved to Manhattan, I dropped out of car culture. I haven't bought a car since 2003, and I haven't owned one since 2011. But the weird thing is, more and more tech has found its way into cars, and it's got me interested again. And number five, it's got to be connected somehow. Getting data from your car has never been easier. You can make almost any car smarter with something like the automatic, which attaches to your car's OBD2 sensor. Then there are cars that have their own apps that let you start the car or control your door locks. That's pretty awesome. And number four, smart home integration. When I pull my car into my garage, I wished I could trigger my air conditioning or home theater. Now, this is the thing. Ford brought Amazon's assistant to its cars and that lets you control your smart home from your car. It also works the other way where you can find out information about your car from a smart speaker. BMW is also jumping in on the Amazon bandwagon. And number three, it's gotta be electric or hybrid. Yep, I'm dating myself here. Back in my day, electric cars were ugly and kind of a joke. Now they're mainstream. Tesla showed that electric cars can be gorgeous and fast. There's an infrastructure for charging now. Electric cars have a lot more support with many more major manufacturers offering pure electric vehicles. Volvo even said it will only produce electric or hybrid vehicles starting in 2019. And number two, CarPlay or Android Auto. When it came to in-car entertainment, my options were CDs or an aux jack for my music player. Now you can link up your iPhone or Android phone using CarPlay or Android Auto. So instead of trying to deal with some car maker's janky apps, you can use the apps you're used to with your phone. And at number one, self-driving. The advances in self-driving technology are insane. Tesla's autopilot feature is amazing, even though it's not fully autonomous. A number of cars can handle parking themselves at this point. On top of that, there are some great collision avoidance systems that make cars much safer to operate. I'm not sure I'll get another car anytime soon, but to find out the latest in cars, check out theroadshow.com. For more top fives, check out top5.cnet.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online, or maybe in the subway.